How's everyone going? Welcome back to another Commission 998 vlogs bi monthly update video. Uh, I should note one thing this is being recorded at approximately 6 am on the day of um, upload. Uh, haven't had much sleep, so here we go. Time to make a video. Uh, because I'm supposed to, anyways. Hope everyone has been well. It's. Uh, yeah, it's currently the middle of my break, so I'm able to actually hopefully do a few more things, get some stuff prepared for the future of these channels. Um, next of vlog videos in the edit, it got delayed because of assignments and stuff, which is unfortunate, but hopefully that should be out at some point in the next few weeks. Uh, and so we'll, and a few other videos. In any case, um, hope everyone has been well. It's, um, yeah, two months since our last update video, and going pretty well through the current Heritage Steam season. So, uh, here's a quick uh, montage of the Steam tours that occurred over the last two months. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, so yeah, quite a few tours, including the Waddle Festival, which just occurred um, a few days ago, um, and that will be our next video on the main channel as well. Uh, the Waddle Festival this year um, tour was great, uh, but uh, well, mostly with um, a few slight issues that occurred with the train itself. Um, but the overall day was kind of interesting, to be honest. It's uh, uh, part of our segue to our next section we'll, we'll speak about in a minute but uh, it's yeah definitely was one of the more interesting cha uh, days uh, it just feels like things are changing around the uh, the railway um, the rail fanning area a lot um, especially with the guidelines and stuff all changing um, it's kind of like the world that we currently live in in terms of um, the way that everything works and it's no longer um, seen as um, a regular thing to be able to stand next to a railway line at a level crossing and not just have someone call the police on you for some reason. So it's a very weird um, situation it is, it all is now, uh, which is really unfortunate. It also doesn't help that the lack thereof um, communication and the lack thereof um, things uh, like for the community to know, like locals to know about the rail safety and stuff, it causes a lot of issues um, in, in all of our current rules of knowing of where of where we need, can stand and so on, um, uh, just to get our um, images and whatever. It's 
becoming a lot harder. But there we go. Um, now that will probably come up in the vlog video that came up, uh, which was recorded during and during the day. Um, that video uh, will obviously be out at some point in the next one and a half, two years. Uh, that should be vlog number forty-five of our course number. We are at 33, so quite a few more to go, and I just don't have the time to edit them, especially seeing that I'm working on a few other projects um, on both the vlog channel and a future project that will be announced later on. It was supposed to be announced next uh, this coming month. has been delayed due to a few issues also with uh, one of the videos which is being made for it um, because I just can't get the style correct at the moment. This is what happens when you're getting into doing new things, um, is trying to create a style is, um, it's just not, like, the thing about doing, uh, doing something like this main channel stuff is, um, it allows you to, uh, it, because it's just gone so regular, things have just gone, you just know how you're going to edit something or something like that, or, um, no, and you can do minor, ch minor changes from that. Whereas if you're starting something new, you'd need to think of how do I want this to be presented and how does it, how do you want it to flow, and that's causing a lot of problems at the moment. But once that's sorted, uh, we will get uh, hopefully get get that moving, and then you'll uh, you'll be find out what that's all about. But yeah, in any case, so before we speak about any other updates with the operations of the channel, um, let's have a quick chat about. Uh, What's happening in the next uh, in the next two months, anyways, or at least what's been announced of happening in the next two months? Steamer has their um, upcoming Uyuka Express coming up this weekend. Um, that's realistically all they've announced. I've also talked about the chances of having their special triple header K class runs. They're supposed to have three of them apparently uh, over some point in the next two months as well. That will be really really nice. Uh, so, definitely we'll try to head out for those. Um, we'll have to see based on what days they come up because there's not, there's, there are other things I've got to do in these next two months as well. It's definitely not the freest of months that I have available. Uh, we've got Amra's Open Day, so if you're free on um, the 18th of September, Sunday the 18th of September, um, come down to the Amra Club Rooms. It's uh, open to the public. Um, for you to come have a look, and if you're interested, you can come and join up. Uh, and we've also got things like streamline. So for once, we're not going to be doing this next to uh, next period. We'll also not be fully Victorian. Uh, we've got streamliners coming up in Goulburn uh, on during the Labor Day long weekend in New South Wales, first to the third of October. Um, currently in the process of planning what to do with that. Uh, and we've also got a few other uh, events in Sydney, which uh, New South Wales, which uh, we're also in the process of thinking about what to do with those if um, if we can. Uh, but for any of those in Victoria, you've got your um, uh, hundred years of the Ballarat Tramway is occurring on that on the Saturday of that weekend. And uh, yeah, at the moment, that seems to be that's all been that's all that has been announced, anyways. Uh, yeah, so, and we've also got, obviously got 707 doing their weekenders as usual, and they've also got a day trip coming up, which is going to be nice, um, the taste of Goulburn, that should be come, popping up um, in this next section as well, so, well, be good to uh, head back up to Seymour, possibly, uh, I'm assuming Seymour are going to run their open day again, wouldn't mind to go and see what kind of stuff is going on in their workshops. So yeah, um, I think that's really all in terms of the railway movement. Dermpap hasn't announced anything for a while, so hopefully we can hear something from them soon, but they can do whatever they will. Um, but yeah, so, uh, time to talk about a little bit of news and stuff. It's not, again, I don't really do, it's not really something I do as much anymore, this new stuff. But key things we could probably talk about is... Um, uh, if you're at Southern Cross Station, have a look out for the locomotive-shaped hedges at Southern Cross Station, uh, done up uh, by one of the V-line drivers. Really nice thing that's there. I actually noticed it. I think I noticed it some months ago, but it wasn't something that I uh, that uh, cleanly noticed. It's like, 
uh, it's that's kind of cool but I like, completely forgot about it but yeah so that's something that was on the news lately and there was also about um, a proposal by the Victorian Greens is because the election's coming up that they will run 10 minute frequencies on all line so, um, that oh, and for trains and trams that is kind of interesting to think because there are some lines that kind of can't run a 10 minute frequency especially with something like um the upfield line yes it says except williamstown upfield and cranbourne because upfield being partly single track a lot of the single track lines just probably can't do it um be nice for a 10 minute frequency i don't think we have the uh, have the trains to do that uh, and i don't know how it is because currently trains aren't that busy and off peak at the moment possibly um uh, it's more of a thing for the future. Maybe a 15 minute frequency would be nicer for all, over all lines first, um, with key sections like Dan Long section, Ringwood section, uh, uh, Sunshine. Um, have a uh, have something like a 10 minute frequency or something a bit quicker like, than that. Uh, I think that will probably be better for what we are currently doing at the moment uh, and the current capacity of our services, but. That's what, yeah. There's also things about apparently the, uh, again, to do with the election, they want to remove, uh, the Liberals uh, want to remove the Southern, uh, the Suburban Rail Loop. That's, don't know where that's, uh, um, I honestly don't mind the Suburban Rail Loop, but I guess there's people who also don't like it, so we'll see how that goes. Um, it's an it's a it will be a nice thing for the railways, but again, that's they are right. It is more centered again with Melbourne, not really regional. There are some we do need to do a few more regional train projects. I don't know, build a new line out there somewhere, which uh, which might have some form of growth. I don't know. There really isn't much growth in regional in some areas, from what I can tell. Anyways, there's a lot of upgrades, like the Shepparton line being upgraded to allow velocity trains and stuff like that. There's all that sort of that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much. I think that's all. Pretty, uh, that's pretty much the main stuff that's been going on. But that's all that we can really um, see at the moment. Um, yeah. So what's up with the channels, anyways? Um, going as per usual. Most of this stuff, it's a realization with all the things that occurred during the Waddle Festival, and just the overall fact that everything seems to be changing around a lot. Um, it's. After seeing like the, the community response with something like the Tarragon line, whenever the snow train goes out to Tarragon, and just the, the amount of troubles they seem to have these days with these tours, and even uh, talking about the previous Eureka Express of why the train had to get like, stop on the main or on the main line, it's um it's really getting quite worrying. Um, and I'm not sure how much more of um this stuff that I feel like also doing because it, it is getting tiring and with the coming of the end uh, to my um, education means that I will finally have to do some other stuff um, and it might get a bit more busier to run the main channel so currently in planning for new things for the channel on how we're going to handle running this channel and how we've, um, we're going to continue to run even like this, um, this channel itself uh, because Inevitably, the, I don't want, uh, what's it called? The name won't end, with no, there's no point that um, uh, we're going to finish up with, uh, I'm not going to stop doing this for a long time, it's definitely something I enjoy doing, I love producing these um, videos and stuff, it's just the, at the frequency that we're currently doing and the fact that we've got like the dedicated days, that may change in the new year. Um, Especially since um, I don't know how much I'll be able to go out, uh, so a whole update video will be done at the uh, at the conclusion of our tenth year um, to specify the changes and um, because we're, there's a chance we may be moving around a few of the series as well um, or b between the channels and um, like my pr uh, priorities might be changing based on what channel I work on uh, more but obviously the quality is not going to change it's just the uh, the like the, uh, the amount that I upload to it or what it's being uploaded on or the style that it's being uploaded that's always something that's also a thing that needs to change wow this vlog video has been pretty long so I do apologize for that hope you guys have enjoyed um, this little talk and this little update this is the sort of things that I think about uh, coming up towards the end of the year and we have to think about this early before it goes, oh no, it's the end of the year. 
what's going to happen. We're going to we can continue the same way as before or not. So. Yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope to see you guys on the site, uh, maybe uh, at a train station or something one day again. Um, definitely quite a few things occurring over the next uh, few, uh, two, uh, two months, but uh, unfortunately a lot of things haven't been announced as of yet. But that's just the reality of it. So things don't get announced too pretty last minute nowadays. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you, actually more. Thank you all for listening. Hope you guys um, stay well. Stay safe, and we'll catch you all down the line.